Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss about electric field due to a dipole at a point in the equatorial plane. So before that, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. So let us take a dipole of magnitude Q and the distance between the dipole is 2A. Now we are asked to find out what is the electric field on a point on its equatorial line. So let us imagine there is a point P at a distance R from the center of this dipole. Whenever we are asked to find out a force or electric field at a point, we will keep a unit positive charge called the test charge at that point and we will find out what is the net force or electric field acting at that point. Now let the distance between charge plus Q and the point P be under root R square plus A square. Let the electric field at point P due to charge plus Q be E1 bar and due to minus Q be E2 bar and the angle between the position vector to the point P and the dipole axis be theta. Now we can draw the vectors E1 bar and E2 bar both will be directed in these directions. Now we can resolve this vector. To resolve a vector you need to draw par lines parallel to x axis and y axis so it will be like this. And the angle between the x component and E1 bar will be theta because they are corresponding angles. And the angle between E2 bar and the x component will be again theta because they are alternate interior angles. Now we can write down the x component and y component. The x component for the vector E1 bar will be E1 cos theta. And the y component for the vector E1 bar will be E1 sin theta. Similarly, the x component for E2 bar will be E2 cos theta and the y component will be e2 sin theta. Let p cap be the direction of the dipole. Always direction of dipole will be from minus q to plus q and the direction of electric field will be from plus q to minus q. The magnitude of both e1 bar and e2 bar is same so we can write e1 bar equal to e2 bar and generally e bar can be written as ex bar plus ey bar where ex bar is the x component of electric field and ey bar is the y component of electric field. Here x component of electric field is e1 cos theta and e2 cos theta. y component of electric field is e1 sin theta and e2 sin theta. Since e1 equal to e2 we can cancel out all the y components and only x components will remain. So we can write ex bar equal to 2 e1 bar cos theta or we can write 2 e cos theta. Now we know the value of electric field it will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and q by r square plus a square. And we can find the cos theta value from this diagram. Cos theta will be a by under root r square plus a square. So taking all those values and substituting in the equation we will get ex bar or e bar equal to minus 2 q a by 4 pi epsilon naught r square plus a square whole power 3 by 2 into p cap. The negative sign indicates that the electric field is pointing opposite to the direction of the dipole which is towards the left and the electric field is pointing towards the right. Now the magnitude of the dipole moment can be written as 2 q a multiplied by the p cap will give you the dipole moment p bar. Now we will consider a special case where r is very much greater than a. So when r is very much greater than a in our equation the a square term can be neglected and we can write the electric field E equal to minus p bar divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube. So this will be the electric field at an equatorial point.